Hi all, welcome to another episode of JS Networks. Today we are discussing the second part of importance of IPR to a researcher. So let us go to the class. Intellectual property rights are of various types and the most important ones are patent, copyright, trademark. Okay, many are there. And these are the three important ones, patent, copyright and trademark. So let us see one by one. What is patent? Patent is granting the property right by a sovereign authority to the inventor. That is a granting the property right because he has developed that. Who is the inventor? He has developed that, right? And the authority is giving the property right to the inventor. That is patent. A patent for an invention is granted by the government to the inventor. And also giving the inventor the right to stop others for a limited period from making, using or selling the invention without their permission. That is, for making any modifications, we have to get the permission from the inventor. So, controlling others to interfere in our works or to modify our works or to steal our works. Okay. So, to protect the work of the inventor, that is patent, granted by government to the inventor and giving the inventor the right to stop others for a limited period. Patent is an exclusive right granted by an invention and the invention in general is a new way of doing something or offers a new technical solution to a problem. That is patent. Examples of patents include, we know Wright brothers, they have invented the airplane. Thomas Edison, he invented light bulb. Alexander Graham Bell, he invented telephone. So the patent has been given to that persons. So that the exclusive right to handle that product by the inventor only. Okay. To be patentable, your invention must be new. The work or the invention must be new. Involve an inventive step. You are modifying something. Okay. See this. Here an example. Take the example of a different attachment method. An example is given here. Instead of welding. See. Instead of welding the tubes of a swing together. Another method we are implementing. That might be screwed together. Instead of welding the tubes. We can screw them together. To make the swing. So that is another method. Okay. Involve an inventive step. Be capable of industrial application. It should give something to the industry. Means that the invention must take the practical form of an apparatus or device, a product such as some new material or an industrial process or method of operation. Invention must be capable of being made or used in some kind of industry. It is it should be useful to something be capable of industrial application okay it should be new involve an inventive step be capable of industrial application an invention is not patentable if it is a scientific theory or a mathematical method an aesthetic creation literary dramatic or artistic work a scheme or method for performing a mental act, playing game or doing business, presentation of information or a computer program. Okay, these are some of the examples of the inventions which are not patentable. What rights does a patent give? A patent gives the right to stop others from using the works of the inventors. Alternatively, you can choose to let others use it under agreed terms. If the author or the inventor is permitting, 
uh, some conditions are there and if he is permitting someone to do that means he can do that else no one can do the work of the inventor or take the work of the inventor there is a right to stop others a patent also brings the right to take legal action against others who might be infringing and claim damages suppose one person is uh, using our the, the the new invention means the inventor can go for legal action against him can take legal action against him once the invention is made public there will be no protection against others that is the main that is one of the point important point that is once the invention is made public then no control is there anyone who needs he can take that okay the intellectual property office does not ensure that others do not copy a patent invention it is up to the owner to take any necessary action to ensure an idea is not infringed once granted or in the public domain any ideas may not be re registered once it is public means it it cannot be re registered three types of patents are there design patent it is related to some design that is see coca cola bottle the design of coca cola bottle you know that is for the company no one can take the duplicate of that okay emojis phones visual traits many other protection for the aesthetics of a device or invention design of something for that patent we are giving that is design patents plant patents uh, safeguards for new varieties of plants example uh, here it is given pest free versions of fruit trees someone is developing that means for that he can get the patent utility patents which is useful protection for a product that serves for a practical purpose and is useful that is utility patent example vehicle safety systems software and pharmaceuticals okay so this is about patent next is copyright you might have heard about the term commonly generally we are hearing the term we we use the term copyright okay so let us see what it is copyright is a legal term used to describe the rights that creators have over their literary or and artistic works there comes a the point literary and artistic works for this we are giving copyright works covered by copyright range from books music paintings sculpture films to computer programs databases advertisements maps technical drawings whatever things which come under literary and artistic works for that copyright is being provided and that is author's right importance of copyright protection for business protects from unauthorized usage copyright of work will provide legal protection provides royalty and remuneration to the owner provides licensing right to the owner that is the remuneration the royalty is given to the owner not to the public and protecting legally protecting the invention okay that is copyright protection next is trademark trademark is used for goods identifies the source of your goods or services some logos we make that is trademark their identity provides legal protection for your brand okay here the term brand for the identity for the brand if bata bata means they are having their identity they have they are having their logo they, that is it that is for them only so that is trademark and no one can copy that helps you guard against counterfeiting and fraud trademark is capable of distinguishing the goods or services of one person from those of others may include shape of goods packaging combination of colors so these are the examples of where we are using that trademark
these are some of examples of trademarks that is the identity of something wherever we see this bata this writing okay so this is for bata only pisleri apple symbol wherever we see this at the first time itself or uh, seeing this logo itself one can understand this is apple same way mahindra logo okay so these are some of the examples of trademarks that is all in today's topic we have covered patent copyright and trademark three important types of intellectual property rights hope it was clear for you thank you